Got my rig all fired up, ready to go. Strapped to me right here. And there it is in all its glory with my pole line. And we're headed off to the lake with everything I think I need to survive for the night. I've never done an overnight winter camp, so this is gonna be new and exciting. I'm at the lake. This is the part that uh, always gives me a little anxiety, is crossing the water. I know it's probably good, there's snow machine tracks everywhere, but just the thought of it, you know, you're standing on top of dozens of feet of cold black death. <laughs> so that's where we're headed, not too far. But uh, I don't want to be too far because, like I said, this is my first time out. And if something goes wrong, I want to be able to uh, stage an escape. So here we go. I circled around back of the island. I didn't want to mess around too much with the cameras while I was on the ice. Um, when I got close to shore, there was a down tree going into the ice. And I broke through a little bit there, so I kind of... Uh, Panicked a little bit. Well, I wouldn't say panicked, but calmly sort of walked the other direction. Uh, you know, adrenaline pumping. But I stuck to the shoreline on the other side, and it seems fairly solid. No uh, slush or water. Um, you never know. The thickness is different everywhere, and the thickness changes for different reasons. And I'm not sure what that reason was, or that particular spot where the tree was going in. Maybe the warmth of the tree or something, I don't know. <laughs> anyway, um, I might have found a little spot here. I'm going to explore around a little bit more to see if we can find a better one. But it's probably large enough for my tent. Um, but, and there's lots of wood around. But, uh, you know, we can do a little bit more exploring before we uh, settle down. Don't always pick the first thing, right? Shop around a little bit. <laughs> so that's what I'm gonna do, shop around. Well, I shopped around, but uh, couldn't really find anything and we're uh, getting low on daylight time so I settled for that first spot I found. Got lucky I guess, we'll see how it goes. I managed, <clears throat> I uh, trampled down a spot here with my snowshoes. So now the grueling task of going to get my stuff down there and setting it up here is going to begin. I got the tent up after a little bit of struggling. Again, it's only my second time. 
The floor is still a little uh, soft. The snowshoes can only pack it down so much. So uh, I'm gonna find some pine bows and make a little floor. And then uh, we're gonna have a, it'll be a little drier, a little nicer to walk on. Well, I got the tent up, my cot, my uh, chair, food, my bag, wood stove. Now all I gotta do is cut some wood. Took me about an hour and a half, almost two hours to get everything set up. Then again, it's only my second time doing it, so hopefully that process speeds up the more I do it. I'm looking forward to sitting down, having a beer, having a hot meal. I cut a little bit of wood, but my body's screaming at me to take a break. I'm getting sore. Whew. Should have taken a break a while ago, but you know how it is. Water. Got to ration this. That didn't look like rationing, did it? <laughs> That's it for now. Stove's going. It's getting pretty warm in here. I gotta get out of these clothes for a bit. They're all wet, dry off, put my jogging pants on and chill out for a bit, eat some food. Well, it's that time. I'm gonna use my, uh, my jet boil, make a hot bowl of soup, because I'm hungry. <clears throat> Forgot to bring a spoon, so. <laughs> Homemade chopsticks it is. Good thing I got noodles. Sauce. Boiling. Hot soup with some forest sticks. <laughs> mm. It's important to have hot food out here. <clears throat> Warms up the body. Even though it's basically a bowl of salt. <laughs> Still though. It's a king's meal to me right now. And now, sit back, enjoy the remainder of the evening with a beer or two. Cheers. Hmm.
I just went out there, took a walk around the campsite, went down to the waterfront, took a look around. When you're out there in the dark, in the woods like this, it makes it real. Crazy. It's about 11 at night, and the uh, those sledders are just giving her still, just loving their life, just peeling across the lake, high speeds. I see the appeal. The wind's picked up quite a bit. On top of the sledders, you can just hear the jets peeling through the sky the same way the sledders are on the ice. A hunk of metal just ripping, literally ripping through the air at supersonic speeds. Like 20,000 feet above me, and I can still hear them. That's some serious power. Good morning. It was too bad of a night. Wake up every so often to uh, put some more wood on. There was one point where I let it almost go out. I woke up shivering. I shoved a whole bunch of more wood in there. <laughs> it warmed up pretty good. Gonna make a little tea here for breakfast. Good. Nice warm tea, hot tea. <laughs> nice and toasty warm. Well, we're all packed up. Gear's all in the sled. Time to head home. 